Hello, it's Samantha from Soap Essential, and today is my uh, Sunday message of love for your skin. But before I get started, I wanted to give you just a little bit of background on me. I was a longtime competitive athlete, and I was really hard on my skin. I have a degree in exercise physiology and chemistry, and this combined with um, my athletic career put me on a natural trajectory to take the talents of my education and combine it with my love of the human system and develop a unique line of uh, soap and skincare products. <clears throat> so I'm not speaking to you haphazardly, but with purpose. And when I, um, just as like I'm doing all my research, it's in, in developing new products, it's with purpose. So let's get down to our three-step system for more radiant, vibrant, healthy skin. And it starts with exfoliation. I think most of us think about exfoliation and say, oh yeah, that's something that I should do, but we don't really do as often, definitely as often as we should. <clears throat> and the exfoliation of your skin and not only your face, but your whole body should be done two to three times a week. Men usually can tolerate uh, you know, three times a week because they have thicker, tougher skin. So I always recommend starting out with just twice and see how that goes for you. Your skin regenerates itself um, every 14 to 21 days. <clears throat> so every about every two weeks, we're getting like new skin. But a lot of times what happens is the dead skin doesn't slough off as it should. Kind of like if you think how a snake, you know, sheds its skin as it grows, right? You'll see this, the, the dead skin kind of hangs on for a while and our the dead skin on, on us kind of does the same thing where it doesn't slough off as well as it could. And so what happens is it can build up over time and kind of create this dullness appearance. And it also over time can kind of contribute to some skin problems. So you can exfoliate with, um, you know, there's all kinds of products out there, sugar scrubs, salt scrubs. I carry uh, several of those, both for the lips and the body. But, you know, there's apricot seeds, there's um, blueberry seeds, other fruit seed type scrubs that you can use on your face and your body. <clears throat> but it doesn't even have to be anything like that. You can use one of those um, uh, nylon scrunchies that you get at the store and just soap it up really well and use that gently as you, you know, rub it over your skin. And uh, the same with the washcloth, you can soap it up and, and take it and then gently exfoliate your um, skin on your face. And why is this important? It's important because dead skin cells, microbial debris, and other toxins that could be lurking on the surface of our skin, right? Getting rid of those help aids in skin health and takes away that dullness ap appearance. <clears throat> and the other thing that it does is it, um, debris-free skin allows the topical, um, serums and creams and lotions that we put on our skin to uh, to more readily absorb and it's not being hindered by dead skin cells the other thing exfoliation does is it can help reduce um, blemishes and the uprising of blemishes right we touch our face about 23 times in an hour so we're always introducing stuff on our on our face and that's why it's really good that you do a good cleansing at night before you go to bed to kind of help get rid of that and then exfoliation a couple times a week uh, it, it does um, a really fabulous job so let's talk about the second thing, which is cleansing your skin. And there's all kinds of products that are out there, um, you know, to do that. Some are more drying. Uh, some have bad chemicals in them that actually can irritate the skin. I recommend natural products over others because um, they won't dry out your skin. Um, most commercial uh, soap and body cleansers are... Um, really more like detergents than they really are like soap and that's because glycerin is moved out of that removed out of that process and glycerin is just a good example of um, you know an ingredient that is in you know handmade soap where it um, helps it disinfects it it's a humectant so it draws in water 
Um, it uh, really cleans and keeps you staying fresh for longer and it won't strip the oils from your skin, right? It's, um, it's uh, so it's not drying at all. But like I've said before, not all handmade uh, bars of soap are made uh, equally. Making soap is easy, but making good soap isn't. So let's talk about the third thing, which is a finishing uh, product. Finishing products are lotions, creams, serums that we put on our face, right, to give it uh, moisture and make it more healthy and provide beauty to our skin. And it's really important that you look for products that absorb into your skin versus uh, products that have a lot of waxes and fillers that just sit on your skin. A small amount of waxes are okay because there are some benefits to some waxes, but you for your face, you definitely don't want a wax that's, um, you know, that's like the first three ingredients. And let's talk about skin. Since we're talking about absorption, let's talk about skin for a minute. So the skin is the largest organ in the body. And its job is to be a barrier to the outside world. It's to prevent things from absorbing into the skin and absorbing into the organs and the tissues and get into the bloodstream. And it does a really, really good job at this. So when I talk about absorption, I'm talking about the epidermis, which is, a, epi means above or on top of. So if you think of this as your epidermis and this as your dermis, right, the, the deeper skin underneath, I'm talking about like the first third quarter layer of the epidermis as far as absorption. And you want to look for products, right, that have, because uh, in serums, right, there should be a combination of type of um, oils that are in there that some are deeper and some are not as deep absorbing and you do want to have a combination. So just to recap, we want to exfoliate to rid the skin of, um, you know, dead and accumulation of skin cells. We want to cleanse with products that don't strip the oils from our skin. And we want to moisturize with good serums and creams and lotions that aren't, don't have a lot of waxes and fillers. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Um, and this uh, message of love for your skin. <laughs> and I'll definitely see you next time. Have a wonderful day.